Hey kids, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. Just a short intro. Uh, we're doing a triple unboxing today. Uh, uh, brand new mouse, a uh, phone case, and uh, one of those magic tags, but with the shorter cable. I'm going to try it out on the Mobile G3. Let's see how that all worked out. Let's do the intro and then. Uh, You'll know. Let's check it now. All right, kids, here we go. Got uh, three things that came in today from the folks at Amazon. We've got this Alcatel case, very thin, hard shell. We're going to test that on the Alcatel 7 with the magic tag, of course. See if it makes it fit on the cordless charger any better. Uh, we also got this extra magic tag. This one has the little short cable, so it won't block the new G3, which we're taping on right now, which obviously we're not going to test this just yet, are we? Uh, but, but we'll talk about it. And we'll take it out of the case, show it to you. Uh, and then the one we're going to test first, right here. So let's get right to that. We're going to unbox this, check it out, make sure it works, and uh, because I need a mouse. And, you know, I don't care how silly it looks. I don't want to hear any crap about that. It's a friggin' mouse, and it looks on your mouse or mice is important to you, well, you really do need to give a life. So let's get started here and then start peeling. It says, easy open. Yeah, it always says that. They say that kind of stuff. Just to mislead you, but, oh. Okay, looky there. Now, if I'm not incorrect, yeah, I'm probably incorrect. I easy open my ass. None of this shit in plastic containers is easy opening. But let's get her out of there. Looks like we're getting her on out with very little cursing. Uh, oh, look, you get stickers. Uh, I don't know what I would ever do with stickers. And then we're going to hope there's a battery in a hidden away compartment somewhere for the USB uh, piece that's supposed to come with it. You know, the receiver. That would be really nice. So we're going to toss the box aside for a minute. Ah, we're going to... Toss the stickers aside forever. Ah, they said we should pull this. First, all right, let's turn this off. We're going to pull. It's got a big arrow here. Pull! Oh, maybe open. Ah, yes. And hidden inside. And this will get the battery going. Yay! And there is our... USB gizmo. Alright, so far it's looking like a pretty good uh, USB mouse to me. Alright, we're going to flip the switch to on on this thing. And then I'm going to fire up my computer here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm, I guess I could do that right now. I really have to turn my Wi-Fi hotspot on. First, oh boy, oh. Uh -oh, you're going to see my secret pin number, hopefully none of you watch that, all right, we're on, Wi-Fi hotspot is going on to you, now, because that's my internet connection, folks, so let's, uh, Pause for a second here. I'll get the computer booted. All right, folks, I'm back. 
uh, Windows spotted the USB receiver, set it up, I turned the mouse on, and looky here, we got us a working mouse. Yeah, and it has silly uh, camera things, but it's okay, it works, and something the other one didn't do. Uh, and cheap tech viewers also watch something. Uh, 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 how about me? Uh, okay, they watch all kinds of good stuff. They need to watch more of me. Okay, so I guess we've covered uh, the Logitech mouse. Uh, if you don't like the design, that's too bad. But in the description below, uh, I will put a link to it. So, we've covered the first item, the most important one. The one I really, really needed. So, let's move on. We unboxed something successfully today. And, uh, actually, without embarrassing ourselves too much, did we? So, let's get to... The case here for the Alcatel. This is a thin folio case. Bought it on Amazon. I will be linking it. Uh, I wonder if it just tears. Now we're going to have to cut it. And that's why I've been doing this super wonderful invention called a knife. This one was uh, relatively inexpensive. so. We're going to tear it open here. Rip, tear. Lots of debris. We're going to get rid of the plastic cup. Remember, any phone you have, I don't care how inexpensive you think it is, uh, you should always, always put a case on it. It's just... Oh, and this one comes with a... Screen protector. Uh, yeah, it looks like a hard, uh, hard screen protector. Okay, now we know I'm not much on screen protectors. We're not going to install that today, but you could. So let's get to putting this case on onto the Alcatel. First thing I'm going to have to do is reach over here to the Alcatel and uh, turn the screen off and uh, peel it out of its prison here in this ginormous thick case. Uh, yeah, this guy. All right, and there's our magic tag for charging. So let's see if it's going to fit. And, work for us with the charger and with all our buttons and stuff and our camera on we're just gonna put it on there like so looks like we're we're headed down the right road here i don't know yeah maybe maybe i should take the hard plastic uh, if i can do that I don't think it comes apart. No, it's a single piece kind of dealio. It was a very inexpensive case, so. But we're going to see if it's worth your money as I try to get it up on the phone here properly hooked somewhere. We gotta get it in here to start with. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. right, we gotta make sure our magic tag is where it belongs. And as you can see, it has plenty of clearance on the fingerprint reader. Very important. But 
no installation instructions with this, folks, but seems fairly straightforward to me. We're just going to get it crammed down, down and in, and in, and down and, ooh, it's, uh, that's right me in one corner here. Let's put it this way. Yeah. It's never going to come off of here. Okay, folks. Uh, oh, I think we got it. I think we're there. All right, pretty easy install. If you can see, the magic tag is going to stick out a little more with this one. But this case is a hell of a lot thinner than this case. Yeah. No raised bumps and that kind of stuff. Oh, got plenty of room in the cutouts. Fingerprint reader works good. Uh, let's let's snap a picture with it real quick and uh, see see what happens. Here's all the junk we got today. Let's do that. I want to check it out. Let's. Looks good to me, no shadowing, no crap. Looks excellent. There's a picture I took at work today. We're gonna get out of this crap all. Uh, so, now, big question. Is it gonna work? Okay, well, let's check. It's our power button. You've got our three buttons, our power volume up, volume down. Uh, kind of big ones, uh, but that'll work. So we're gonna hit the button here, wake her up. And uh, I, I gotta admit, the Alcatel has a excellent uh, um, fingerprint reader on the back. It's pretty quick. Uh, and before we put it back, let's point some things out. If you lay this thing face down, You've got a pretty good edge here and here at the ends for sure and you got a good edge all the way around so you'll be able to take this thing that's all your stuff for putting me stuff on and set it face down on a flat surface as long you know you don't set it down surface with thumb tacks let's try it let's see if it charges Swing the camera over <coughs> and put her on there. Bam! No weird motions. Went right on. We uns is charging. So it does work with a wireless charger. Should work on one laying down. So that being said. I'm liking it. I don't know about you. I like it. Now let's get to that last item. Trip one box, and we're kind of making this short if we, if that's possible. <laughs> yeah. Um, the magic tag. Now the reason I ordered this, it might sound kind of silly. Uh, because the Mobile G3 went crazy the other day when I put a magic tag in it. I thought it was because maybe it was too long getting up over the fingerprint reader. Uh, in truth, well, this one I've already tested. It has a very short cable. If you got like a 5.7, 5.8 inch phone, well, that fingerprint reader is going to be sitting a little bit nearer to where a standard magic tag would hit it. There will be a link for this model. Um, now, I'm gonna send this to probably C. Butler. I know he's got a mobile G3. Uh, then again, so does Project 13. Anyone who hits me up first and says, yeah, I'll test it. Um, because I put it in the mobile G3 and I got the exact same fireworks uh, it just doesn't have any shielding in the back. Apparently, uh, 
it doesn't deal with wireless at all. So, it's never going to get wireless charging. So if you want on a new mobile phone to get wireless charging, you're going to have to wait for the G4 that has it built in. But at least that's my testing. That's why I want to send it to somebody else who has a mobile G3. Maybe they got a better one. Uh, the problem could be with the, uh, as far as I know, the uh, USB. C port again. Uh, you know, I did have a bad one. I fixed it, have fixed. And, uh, but it does everything else fine. There's no real side force. It could be that 2D case I'm using. Well, that's all I got for today. So there'll be links to all three of these products in the description below. Big arrow coming up. And, uh, make sure that you click on the subscribe button and give us a, you know, maybe hit the bell ding and then give us a big thumbs up and leave feedback and it takes a second. Share the video. Share it with everyone. Share it with your grandmother. I don't care. But please share it and I'll catch you in the next one.